I love watching movies. I love watching TV shows. I love going and recording some content and then throwing it onto my NAS. Let's talk about Plex. Let's show you how to actually set up and install Plex on your Synology NAS. If you have a Synology and you wanna know more about the Synology, I've got a full length training course that I know you will find helpful. We cover a lot of the basic stuff and a lot more of the advanced stuff troubleshooting best practices around setting up your NAS and getting the best out of your Synology device. So what we're now gonna do is we're gonna cross over to my computer. I'm gonna be logging in from a Mac into my Synology NAS. You could be logging in from a Windows computer. That is fine. I'm gonna be doing this demo on a DS920 Plus Synology NAS. Why don't you also let me know in the comments below what sort of Synology NAS you've got. So on our Synology NAS, we need to open up the package center to be able to install the Plex application. Now, before we do that, something that I'm gonna show you is within File Station. So if you open up our File Station, what you're gonna do is you need, you need to create essentially a folder on your Synology NAS where you can actually copy all of your videos, your TV shows, movies, home movies, all of that sort of stuff onto your Synology NAS. I generally recommend that that is the location where you actually store all of your content I mean, it can be stored elsewhere. It could be on a network drive somewhere on your on your network at home in a work. It could be on a USB drive that is connected to the side of your Synology NAS. But I recommend going into your Synology NAS and actually adding all the data into there. So you'll see in my Synology NAS under the data folder, I've here got a folder called Plex. And within there, I've already gone and created documentaries, family videos, home videos, kids, movies, etc. So essentially every single category, every folder, that I want to be discoverable on Plex. And within each of those areas, I've gone in and copied all of my content into there. So that's the first thing that I would generally recommend is try to get all of your data into there first. Now, of course, the beauty about Plex, I'm gonna go and download the cover art, a description about what that episode or movie is all about. And it just makes the whole viewing experience really, really nice when you're connecting to your Plex server, which is what we're setting up right here, from your phone, from your smart TV, from your Apple TV, whatever it may be. Something that I will note is that when you are looking at your TV show specifically, you need to go and categorize these accordingly into appropriate folders. So within TV shows, I've just got a couple in here. I've got Mr. Robot and I've got Taken. And you'll see if I open up Mr. Robot, I've actually got folders within it called season two, season three, season four. And then inside of those folders, I've actually got the video files of each individual episode named accordingly. It may say episode one, episode two, make it easy for Plex to be able to scan the TV shows and then populate all the necessary information. So let's now go and open up our package center. Now the great thing of course with your Synology NAS is that it's an application server as well. So you can actually go and install applications onto your Synology NAS, and then you convert your Synology NAS essentially into a multimedia server, into a Plex server. So we're gonna search for Plex, and here it is. Now at the moment, as of this recording anyway, uh, the, the current version of my DSM, the version of Plex available for that is currently in a uh, beta mode still. So if yours comes up with that, then just join that beta program and then you'll be able to download it. Uh, otherwise, you'll be able to just download it straight from there and actually say install. So Plex is now downloading. So it's downloading this straight off the Plex website and then it'll go and actually install it. We'll then go and open up Plex once it's finished and then add all of the media, all of the TV shows, movies, home movies that you've added into your NAS. So we're now configuring the Plex, uh, the PMS, the actual Plex media server. Where is it gonna be writing its log files? It's sort of letting you know that you can write these log files elsewhere, or you can just leave it as the default. I'm just gonna leave it blank. Next, confirm that all your settings look okay. And we're gonna make sure that run after installation is ticked. Now this is an important setting that we'll cover in a little while, but essentially you need to grant read write access to those folders to your Plex media server application, okay? All right, so that's now running and you can click on open. You'll also find that it's listed under your menu here, Plex media server. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the control panel. I'm gonna go and navigate to shared folder over here. And you'll remember that my Plex content was inside my data. There is a folder here called Plex, but that's really where it's installed, the application itself. That's not where my content is. So wherever your content is, mine is inside data. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grant that folder, the data folder, access uh, against my Plex user. So if I click on edit, select uh, permissions over here, you'll see that there is a local user here called Plex. 
I'm gonna go and tick that, read and write. Now you may or may not have this. If you do have that, go and tick read and write against that Plex user to grant that user access to that folder and then save. So right out of the box, you literally open up the Plex application and you've got access to a whole bunch of stuff that's already pre-configured within Plex. And of course, this is getting all this information off the cloud and you can go and watch all of this stuff and it's there for you. So it's really, really cool, really, really easy to use. On the left, you've got all your navigation bar here, but this has all been pre-customized for you. It hasn't really been made for your viewing experience. So now we wanna go and configure Plex so that you can actually start to use it. First step is if you don't have a Plex account already, you'll need to go and sign up for your Plex account. So you need to go and create your own account. You can use your single sign-on by logging with Google, Facebook, or Apple, but you need to create a Plex account. It's completely for free. So go and create that account first. That way it just stores all of your relevant information. And if you log into another device, you log in that way as well. It makes it very, very easy. Back on our Plex media server here, once you've signed up, once you've authenticated, once your account is ready to go, we then click on sign in, and then you log in with those accounts. And what's gonna happen right here is it's already detected that this server, it's calling it a server, is uh, being hosted on 172.16.1.50. So that is the IP address of my Synology NAS. That's an internal IP address of my Synology NAS. And essentially it's just detected that there is an application called Plex running on this uh, on this NAS. And essentially it's just acting as a server. Because you can install Plex anywhere, you can install it on a Windows computer, you can install it on a Mac, you can install it on a NAS. So your NAS installation of Plex now needs to link up to the actual account that you just created. And we now start configuring our Plex. Now on the very far left, it just has home and live TV. Yours may have some other options, some other channels that are already been pre-configured for you. But now we go and customize this and make your Plex talk to all of those folders that we looked at before and start scanning all of that media. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on more and you'll see that it's found my Aguero Plex. This is what I've given it. I've given it a relevant name. Click on the little plus over here. And here we now select the library type. You'll see that there are five options available, movies, TV shows, music, photos, and other videos. Movies, as the name suggests, is movies that you may have on your Plex environment, but also could be relevant to documentaries, right? So anything that can go out to the internet and scan a library out on the internet, it's gonna go and download the cover art, the description, all of that sort of stuff could be sitting in a movie folder. So for example, a documentary that is a standalone documentary, well, that is gonna fall under the movie category. But if it's a series, a documentary series that has multiple episodes, then that could be categorized as a TV show. And that's the same with perhaps concerts. So if you've got like a concert, if it's a once-off, it could be movies, but if it's a concert with various episodes, then it could be classified TV shows. Music is your own music. Photos is for a photos library. And then other videos I would say are uncategorized, unclassified, and these are your own personal stuff. So your own home movies, travel videos, all of that, I would classify under other videos. So we're gonna select movies as our first one. I'm gonna give it a relevant name. So I am gonna actually get my movies to talk to movies. The language, next. And here is where I now browse for media folder. So now I'm gonna point this movies folder that we just created, the category, within the folder on my NAS. So I'm gonna select in here, we're gonna click on volume one, and in here I've got a folder called movies. I'm gonna select movies and go add, add to library. Now that has now just created a new movies folder. It's starting to now scan movies that I've got inside of my Plex, okay? We can then go and create another one. We can say TV shows. Like before, we've navigated to my TV shows folder, and that's now going to add that one. And as you can see, it's actually gone out to the internet and it's downloaded all the cover art for all of these movies. So you can now spend a bit more time customizing Plex, but they're the steps on how to configure Plex on our Synology NAS. So here we are on an iPhone with Plex installed on your NAS. Go and download the Plex app on your iPhone, on your Android device, on your computer, wherever it may be. Open that up. Opening up the app, it will then scan your network and then find your NAS. In my case, it's found Aguero Plex, and here is my movie. So I can just click on that and start playing that movie, and that is playing that movie straight out of Plex. So Plex is done. Hopefully you were able to get it working. If you did, why don't you let me know in the comments. If it was successful, let me know what NAS you got this set up on as well. And remember to check out my course if you wanna know more about the Synology NAS as well. Like this video and also subscribe to this channel. We talk about a lot of stuff around the Synology, so I know that if you subscribe, you will keep up to date with everything that is going on. So thanks again, we'll talk to you next time.